everyone welcome back to my channel glow of Fashion. and today is a day in the life of a life coach okay bear with me guys i have three clients today i am getting their stuff ready um in order for me to speak with them i have one in exactly 20 minutes so i've got their stuff together i got their notes here and I'm just creating, I, how I do life coaching is I create a, like a template for each of my clients. So each client is, a t I design a tailor approach um, for each client. Um, so yeah, I write their names, I take notes. And I create a tailor approach for each client because each client is different. So I know other life co coaches probably use the same template and things like that. I don't. I like to start fresh on each client. I like to, you know, go over my notes and tailor the approach to them um, differently than any other client, basically. So I have some client notes here. And I work, if you guys don't know, on life purpose, discovering your passions, manifestation, living your best life, all that stuff. <laughs> I'm here for it. Just call me the genie, baby, because I will get your mind right for you to manifest whatever you want in life. Listen, we are limitless beings, okay? Stop putting a freaking... Thing in your head, stop embedding your brain to the point of we are not limitless. If you think that you are limited, then that's where you're going to be. You're going to always be stagnant. You're going to always not move into the direction you want to move because you have this blockage. I'm here, I'm a life coach, to point out the blockage, to tell you what the blockage are, blockages are, point out the obstacles, and help you move through them, not around them, not over them, but through them, okay? I help you move through them. So instead of like pushing it to the side or brushing it off, you're going to move through it and you're going to move slowly but surely, but you're going to move in the right direction. Because a lot of clients come to me and say, oh, I want to manifest, I want to manifest some money right now. But then their mindset is money is evil or money is this or their mindset is oh I can't do this or I can't do that you can't manifest anything okay if your mind is not right all right let me tell you something God will not answer your prayers if your mind is not right your vibration and your vibe your energy have to be on the level of love and happiness in order to attract love and happiness. You cannot vibrate from a low energy or a low vibration in order to attract higher things. You're not going to attract prosperity with low-minded thinking, okay? Mm -hmm. with, with scarcity thinking. You're not going to attract any prosperity. You're not going to attract what you want to attract. You're not going to attract the money into your life if you're thinking you're not good enough or you can't do this. You're not going to attract the genuine authentic love that you want to attract into your life if you think you're not worthy of good love. So what I do is I work with my clients' mindset first, get their self-love together so they can vibrate on the state and frequency of what they want to attract. Then once they got their mind right, honey, I'm going to transform you into the person that's attracting all this goodness to you, all this vibration, all this money, all the unexpected blessings, all this true, genuine love is going to come your way. And you're going to be like, Shay, how the hell does change like that? How did my life change like that? I get you all the way together. So... <laughs> Um, all my sessions are confidential, you know, um, non-judgmental, judgment-free jo zone. Um, what I do is I like to go over notes, and like I said, I have a tailored approach to each client, um, what I do. So I let them work on affirmations. I give them love work. I call it love work, not homework. Love work for me because you're loving on yourself. You're continuously growing. You're continuously evolving. So that is love work. 
instead of homework. I feel like homework is like dreadful and you like dragging your feet to do it. But love work, if you love yourself, if you genuinely want to change your situation, then you go to do it. You know what I mean? So. So I'm going to go over some practices with them today, some manifestation practices. <clears throat> I'm going to see where they are first, probably the first 15 minutes of the call. I want to just reflect, see where they are. They have weekly sessions with me, so I want to see where they are standing after I gave them the love work. I want to see what they're doing, what their thoughts, how they're feeling, um, if any improvement has occurred, all that stuff. I want to talk to them about the first 15 minutes of the phone call. And then after the first 15 minutes of the phone call, <coughs> I'm going to ask about other things. So how is journaling going? How did you feel when you were journaling? How did you feel when you were doing your affirmations? What were your thoughts when you were doing the journaling and the affirmations? What questions come to mind that you have for me um, when you were journaling? Did you do any scripting? Did you do any visualization? Did you do any prayer work? Um, all that stuff I'm going to ask. And then we're going to go right into the communication part um, and manifesting, basically. And working on their limiting beliefs. So now I'm working on their limiting beliefs now. I'm trying to get them on the right track to believe that they are worthy of love. And to believe that they are, they can conquer anything, basically. Would you believe that? You're good to go. same affirmations we were talking about and especially the one that you chose I want you to sit and I want you to meditate on that one and say though in the mirror okay looking back at yourself um, before you go to bed or first thing in the morning when you wake up and then I'm going to send you some more journal props I'm going to send you some new ones for this new week mm -hmm, that you could work on I really want you to get into journaling daily because that's very, you know, it's therapeutic, as you, you know, you said that. And it made you kind of open up and say, hey, this is what I love to do. And, and put things into, you know, aspects. And it made you take action, I feel like, too. Once you, yeah, I like that. And also, I want you to do the manifestation work. So that's the baby step that we're doing now with the manifestation scripting work. Um, I want you to do a separate journal or notebook for that if you have one. Um, yeah, in script, in detail. Like I said, the relationship, be specific, be vivid, describe your interactions, your conversations, and your emotions, and write in present tense as if it's happening now, okay? So I want you to do that, and I want you to do that in your happy moments. Don't, don't, don't attempt to do that in the moments where you're feeling, you know, up and down, or you're feeling okay. Do that in the moments that you're vibrating high, that you're actually enjoying the moment, that you, you know, you had a great walk, great workout, you rode your horse, whatever those moments are for you. Do it in those moments where you're on that frequency, okay? So any questions?